Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the prospective research study design, what it is and when should you be using it. So a prospective study design involves a study in which the researcher is trying to investigate the prevalence of a phenomena or attitude or outcome or problem in the near future. Uh, which means in simple language that the researcher is trying to find out about the existence of a problem in the near future or the impact of an action on a problem in the near future. So the researcher in such cases has to wait for an intervention to happen so that he or she can study the impact of the intervention on the problem or the outcome or the attitude or phenomena in the near future so i will give you four or five examples and if these examples are suited to your research study then you know this is a prospective research study design so one of the examples is when you are trying to study the effect of maternal and child care on infant mortality so what happens to children if they receive the maternal and child health care versus the children who don't on their mortality or you are trying to study the impact of marriage counseling on the extent of marital problems so do couples who undergo marriage counseling um, do they have the same marital problems versus the couples who don't uh, undergo a marriage counseling or if you would like to see the study the impact of parent involvement in the academic success of their children so how successful are children when their parents are involved in their academic studies versus those that are not or you would like to study the impact of uh, random breath testing on road accidents or you would like to study the impact of change in a country's migration policies on the extent of immigration in a particular country so if you are trying to study the impact of an action on the outcome then the prospective research study design is how you have to describe your study so i hope this short video was useful in you understanding about a study design and let me know if i miss something or there's something that you would like to add or if there is any question that you might have regarding this type of a study design thank you for watching today's video like share comment subscribe and i will see you soon with my next video bye for